Welcome to World News America on PBS and around the globe. The late US Supreme Court Judge Ruth Bader Ginsburg has become the first woman in American history to lie in state in the Capitol building in Washington. She was honored during a private ceremony that was attended by family members and the Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden. Thousands of people have already paid tribute in vigils outside the court. Our correspondent Barbara Fletusher starts our coverage. Ready, stop. This was a solemn pause in the political tumult that has engulfed the Capitol since Justice Ginsburg died a week ago. And she was still breaking barriers, the first woman ever to lie in state here, her casket placed on the platform that supported America's most famous president, Abraham Lincoln. I have the high honor to welcome Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg to lie in state in the capital of the United States. The Democratic Speaker of the House arranged the memorial for this liberal icon. It was a simple service punctuated by the music she loved. A family friend, Rabbi Lauren Holtzblatt, led the tributes, praising the life and work of someone who changed the course of American law. Justice did not arrive like a lightning bolt, but rather through dogged persistence. All the days of her life, Real change, she said, enduring change, happens one step at a time. Justice Ginsburg made groundbreaking advances in securing women the same rights as men, systematically eviscerating the obstacles thrown up by a male-dominated legal profession. On the Supreme Court, she established a reputation as a strong liberal voice. Amidst all the goodbyes, a brutal partisan battle has taken shape over Justice Ginsburg's vacant seat, which is set to cement the Supreme Court's conservative shift for a generation. Notably absent here were Republican leaders who are plunging forward with President Trump's controversial plan to move quickly in an election year. And from female members of Congress, an honor guard of women acknowledging that their world was shaped by her pioneering work. This marks the end of the mourning period for Justice Ginsburg, and President Trump is ready to nominate her replacement on Saturday, setting off an unprecedented sprint to get a justice on the Supreme Court by the election, and triggering a political and cultural battle that will continue no matter who wins the presidency. Barbara Flat Usher, BBC News, Washington.